Canisius is headed to the NCAA tournament after beating Holy Cross 3-0 Saturday night in the Atlantic Hockey Championship. The weekend before, they beat Battle of the Bridge rival Niagara in a three-game semifinal. The deciding Game 3 loss was heartbreaking for the Purple Eagles, but as our Julianne Paluzzi tells us, Niagara hockey keeps things in perspective thanks to the inspiration provided by an 11-year-old. America got to meet Jack Marquetta two Bill seasons ago when the NBC Sunday Night Football broadcast featured his relationship with Josh Allen. Now bonded by the quarterback's relationship with Oshai Children's Hospital and Jack's hysterical, kind and thoughtful personality, Josh gravitated to Jack the same way that Niagara has over the past four years. Jack Marquetta is a vital part of the Niagara hockey team. His chirps have gotten better and better as the years have gone. I thought you were supposed to be good. He likes to go at the goalie. Why do you need so much water? Like you didn't even face a shot. Yeah. Oh, I thought tendies were supposed to work out. I know the guys love his chirps. His chirps and his motivational speeches. Tonight, the boots are back for some more butt kicking. He keeps it real. <laughs> Usually he says go out and crush your enemies. We're crushing them in the first, crushing them in the second, and crushing their spirits in the third. And there's the legendary favorite. Birds kicking them, or bull kicking a bird or something. Like out of nowhere, he comes up with this kicking Kicking a bird out of the air like a bull or something. It was actually against Canisius. We're going to shatter Canisius tonight like a bull kicking a bird right out of the air. Even though he's just 11 years old, Jack is listed as a senior on the Niagara men's hockey team's website. Being part of this team is very special to me. He's been hanging around the Purple Eagles for four seasons now. So boys are boys, <laughs> the Niagara team, they're all little kids at heart, like they joke around with him. There's some of them have, you know, kind of a little brother, big brother relationship with them. But he'll just go sit with them, they steal his french fries when he goes to the concession stands and gets food. Jack always went and bought fries and I don't know how many he's had in his times at the games, probably not many. It's always a good time, I think whether we're going to his house, I mean we went earlier this year, uh, had a pool party, played football with him out front in the yard. Like, it's just high energy. I think everyone is kind of just relaxes, lets loose, and has fun. We went to his game this year. We all had customized shirts with his name and stuff on the back, so that was pretty fun. But Jack hasn't always been able to play in front of his Niagara teammates. I play hockey, and it's like sometimes it'll get like um, annoying if I can't like keep up with other kids. So I'll I'll want to be like be like a normal kid who like doesn't have like a you know, like a disability where I don't have, like I, like, I run out of energy sooner than others. The Marquetta family linked up with the Eagles through Team Impact, a nonprofit that connects kids with serious illnesses and disabilities with college sports teams. He had a rash on his face after getting a cold when he was two, and the rash number went away. Five months later, we finally got to the right doctor who diagnosed him with juvenile dermatomyositis. That very day, gave him his first shot of chemotherapy. It's been nine long years in and out of Oshai Children's Hospital, but Jack is calm and collected in that space. He even interviewed with me just before another surgery. What brings you into Oshai today? Today, I'm here because I'm getting a surgery on my nose. He has learned to work hard um, to overcome anything um, that's he needs to because he had to do that at a young age, not being given a choice, and he does it with a smile on his face, and I'm so proud. Even though there are still countless procedures and treatments to go, Jack is gaining his strength, and he's back on the ice. It's nice to be able to, like, be healthy and be able to do that stuff. I'm thankful for other people that have helped me with this because it's like, if it weren't for them, I probably wouldn't be here at this point. With the care from Oshai and the help from his teammates, Jack is thriving. Now he gets to deal with the fun things of, you know, feeling special in a good way and being a part of a team and being able to do things that maybe other kids can't do, like play hockey with, you know, Division I college athletes. But Niagara, they're getting so much more in return. This setup with Team Impact, we're supposed to be the ones that are giving him a lot, but I think oddly enough, we've been the ones that gain a lot from him. What we've really been able to gain from Jack is just the perspective on 
what we're going through, nothing really compares to the challenges we know he goes through. I'm Julianne Pelusi, Channel 2 Sports.